right. Everybody good? Yeah. yeah. Man. It's also live podcast, man. The most authentic, most organic podcast out here, baby. You. Man, we back in bed. Think, shout out to Kanye Rumbar here in downtown LA for the space, you know, letting us do our thing here. So if you guys are looking for some good vibes, good music, good people, shoot through. Um, our internal podcasts, man, are kind of just a sum of what we've been going through the last month. The last time uh, we did a small internal, me and, and Pepe was in San Diego. And now we have everybody on. We have Jose. We have sure. Becca. Pepe back in after being famous. How does it feel, bro? I don't know, my guy. I'm just a normal yet. person. I'm just a normal person. I'm not famous at all. It's just normal. But, man, it's been a journey. The last time we've all been on camera all together and people seen it was when we're in San Diego doing the give back to our street vendors. Amazing good. people. Amazing yeah. family. Uh, shout out to Poder, the people that gave us the opportunity to be able to do that. So, Gio, uh, Amy, Amy, again, shout out you amazing, guys. amazing shout people. Out. Um, building a community. And I think that's a that's the thing that you have to have people around you that are like minded, that want similarities in life. And I mean, to, from doing a podcast with Amy for her brand, follow, following her on TikTok to now working with them and fuck family. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, sometimes, besties. Sometimes. sometimes though, sometimes. Whoa, is that? Are you, are you mad? <laughs> tell so, us how you really feel. Uh, tell tell, oh, it, tell sorry, us how guys. you really you know, feel. Shout out Andrew Pure Gains. You know, maybe that's why he feels that way because he's sponsored by Pure Gains too. Oh. You know that contract was written. <laughs> so shout out my boy Andrew. But yeah. just like we did in San Diego, Pepe has some questions for me, and today's gonna surprise us for everybody. So. I'm going to start with the first one. And this one's just for you, though. Oh, shit. Right? Here you go. Because we're in a new place, a new little area. Yeah. I'm going to keep it super simple. If you could interview anyone here at Kanye Rum Bar, dead or alive, oh. who would it be? Dead or alive? Mm. Alive would be Eric Thomas, one of the most motivational people that I have have ran into why? Because when I was going through my first set of, I would say, like, depression or or that mentality, like, what the hell's going on? Like, his videos really helped me, really impacted me. And I said, one day I want to be like that. I want to be able to give speeches like that, help other people. And, man, and I do it with coaching. I do it with here at the podcast. Um, somebody that I also would want to, like, sit down with, uh, man, that are alive. I think now in the position that I'm in, headspace was. I would have loved to have sit down with my grandpa, mm -hmm. and um, have a conversation with him. Um, you know how they say when they're gone, they're still hear you, they're still there with you. But like I personally, like I need to hear it. Yeah. I need to hear those consejos una vez más. I need to hear those words of encouragement. You know, I said it in the previous podcast. Um, Siempre para adelante, nunca para atrás. Mm -hmm. That was major in my life, especially where, like, when nobody, maybe nobody knows, but the first episode I ever recorded was in the same week he passed away. Mm -hmm. And I said, nah, it's not the time. I'm not going to do it. Mm, every reason not to do it. Yeah. You know, lost somebody. But I always say, whoever we lose, we got to live our life for them. Whatever they taught us in our life, you make sure that you do what's right and you follow what they told you. Live your dream. Live it to the fullest. And that same week, it's funny, but I was at Costco, ran into the alcohol section. I was like, we running it. Like, it's time. It's a sign. But someone that's not here, would, I would love to sit with my grandpa. And someone that is here is Eric Thomas or Kevin Gates. Big Kevin Gates fan, so. Nice. You said your grandpa. Yeah. If there was one question that you could ask him, what would it have been? Damn. Um, Estás orgulloso de mí? What do you think his response would have been? I mean, it's my grandpa. For sure, he would tell me, yeah, but, you know, uh, that guilt, I guess, inside of, I let go of the one thing you told me to take care of. And, you know, I felt like I failed. And it's crazy, right? Like, he's not physically here, but... When I went up to Santa Maria, shout out to 805, uh, 
I went to see him. First thing I always do, go see him. I left within five minutes because I said, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you right now. I can't admit that what I'm doing didn't didn't go the right the right way, I guess you would say. I fell into the temptation, into the lifestyle, into what I thought was doing right. And it wasn't. Um, but I think now what I'm doing, being surrounded by the right people, doing what what I know it's going to give me a better tomorrow, um, I think so. I think he would tell me, yeah, but, you know, I'll have that conversation when, when my time is up. And I'll see him. I always say, I'll see you soon. In 100 years, but I'll see you. And then not we'll, too soon. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'll have that conversation with him. And, um, yeah, but in the meantime, just please visit me in, in my dreams. I need you. But, yeah. All right, all right. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I didn't sorry. mean to get uh, that deep just right in off the bat. In five minutes. Hey, five no. minutes, right? No, what, I think in the last podcast, we had a crier within the first five minutes, too. So we, we're, on the, we're on the right, right track. Right on brand. Right on brand. <laughs> we're on the right track. Up. We're on the right track. So this one's for everybody, right? All uh, right. What are your current priorities in this season of your life and why? Go ahead. Um. I feel like my priorities is I kind of re- restructured on how I was valuing things. Mm-hmm. And I feel like now I'm in a good headspace and in a good track to say that my priorities is my brother. From, um, most importantly, just because I'm living his high school years, his uh, young life through mm-hmm. through him, because I didn't have the support as much as I uh, giving him. Like, for example, going to football games. Like, I would look up in the stands like, oh, like, cool, I got my friends up there, but I don't have my parents up there. Mm-hmm. So I'm blessed enough to do what I do and have time for myself to go to his games every Friday night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he sees it and he's like, oh, like, that's cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, my brother, my family, and then just my business in general. Like, I love all my clients. I love all my athletes. Um, and balancing that uh, business aspect with you guys as well. Like you guys, are my other, my second family. Like I love each and every one of you guys, and I feel like putting that um, forward has been very beneficial for me and like just clearing my headspace. You know. Yeah. Um, I th- it was priority, right? Yeah. I right. think lately, Priorities. yeah, I've been my only priority. I've made myself my only priority because no one's really gonna help me get to where I need to go. It's just me, like. I'm the one that has to wake up in the morning, go to school. I have to wake myself up, go to work. I have to pay my own bills. No one's going to do it for me. Everybody else, not that I'm not grateful for everyone around me. I am 100%. But everybody else is just like, um, like, like they're kind of like affirmations for me. Like they're the ones that help me boost up. Like you guys around here, like my family at home, um, they're kind of just like, yeah, they just like help me uplift, you know, keep me going. But I'm my own. I have to be my own priority. I, I don't think I was always my own priority, which is why I think it's taken me this long to get to where I'm at. Mm-hmm. But now that I'm here, I'm like, I, of course, everybody thinks like, oh, I could have done this sooner. Like, I should have done this like 10 years ago. But 10 years ago, I wasn't where I'm at now. Yeah. So yeah, I think as of like the last few months, like I've made it a point to make myself a priority um, and just to do whatever makes me happy. If I feel like getting up and not doing anything, that's what I'm going to do. If I feel like getting up and cleaning the house, that's also what I'm going to do. If I, yeah, it's just everything just for myself. What's your priority in your season right now? My family. I'm not going to lie. It probably always has. And although I remember on one of the podcast episodes that I was on, I said, it's okay to put yourself first. I'm not saying it's not, but it's going to always probably going to be my family. Then my friends. And then myself. Can I be devil's advocate? Go for it. I know. I kind of wanted to, too. (laughs) Yeah. Right? I I think we're we're on the same one. I mean, I believe in this very heavily. Like, in my my season is I need to take care of me in order to take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. If I'm not at 110%, then I can't function in that in what I need to, which is my business, um, my work, and, you know, I can't take care of you guys if if I'm not even to take care of myself, right? Mm -hmm. It's that hypocritical uh uh saying where it's like um again i know we've all gone through this but when someone tells you follow your dreams 
wait, how are you telling me to follow that? But you've never you done that. Mm -hmm. You've never put yourself first in order to, like, oh, I've always wanted to. Well, why didn't you? Ah, it's porque, man, I, 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 I don't know what that feels like. I used to. Like, mm -hmm. nah, it's not the right time. I became a parent. Oh, don't do it. You're your dad. That's your response. Well, how can I look at my son, who's going to be a grown man in a couple, in 18 years, to follow your dreams if your dad never did it? You know, it's that, it's that, um, you know, but it goes to emotions too. I can't tell you I love you if I don't love myself. Mm -hmm. I can't show you love if I don't even know what love, loving myself feels like or is like. You know, if I hate the person in that mirror, what am I doing to change that? So that's the only reason why I'm like, hmm. I know you say that, no, and I know we've had this conversation, but I mean, you you have a big heart. You have such a big heart for everybody. I'm like the Grinch; it's ten times it's too small. <laughs> nah, but you have a big heart for everybody, but maybe it's too small for you. Mm -hmm. You leave that, you leave yourself that little no space. That yeah, little to no space. Yeah. Well, it's, after hearing that, why would you put yourself the third place out of the family and uh, your friends? Mm. That's like, a good question, and I thought, and I had a feeling that somebody was going to ask that question. Um, there's times we want to give up. There was really times that we want to give up, yeah. but knowing what your priorities are and what you're doing it for, that's what gets you up, and that's why I say, family, friends, then myself, because yeah. if it was myself first, dude, I'm ready to give up like a lot of the times, but mm -hmm. I don't because I can't let my family down because they're my priorities. That's crazy. Yeah. So think definitely. about it in that perspective, you know? Mm. Yeah. Like, like why do you wake up? Yeah. Like, like, um, who do you do it for? I do it for my parents, my, my grandparents, my sister, my brother. Well, not for yourself. Yeah. Me. Exactly. And then when, and then when you're ready to quit, right? Ah, oh, it's too hard. Well, is that how much you love enough to quit? Right. But again, it's just, it's a accumulation of just life. Like how you said, I mean, I've been there too. Where it's just like, man, you know what? Ah, it's better to rest today. You know what? I'm fucking done. It's it. I don't want to go through this. I don't want to go through whatever life has in front of me. Mm -hmm. But then I realized, like, damn, life is good. You know what we did in San Diego with everybody? Man, life is amazing. Yeah. The little, yeah. little, the little gifts, the little gifts that God gives us. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, here's a reminder how good life is. Right now, you may think you're going through this and it's not perfect, but. Let me give you that. Let me give you that little piece of grace. Let me a let me push. remind you. Yeah, a little a little push, a little reminder. So, I mean, hopefully, and before the year ends or soon, you know, you find that where you kind of just put yourself a little bit higher in, in that skill, which is still not bad because there's people that it's family, it's friends, it's relationship, da, 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 and it's like number ten. Ah, then me. Mm -hmm, <laughs> that's like, true. It's like no, my man. Yeah. That far down, but you know, but damn. We on it. We're Ready. on it. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. We're on it. What you got? What you got? No, I don't know. I don't know. That's a long. What's been? I know that's a hell of. He's like smiling. I'm like, I don't know what we want to get into. We're gonna everything, everything, relate. everything and anything. Everything and anything. Yeah, we're we're too organic not to. We're too organic not to. That's who we are. It's We've crazy. been this. We've been this. It's crazy. One of the just shots being fired left and right, my guy. What's one thing? That's been on your heart and mind recently that you just can't get out of no matter what. Oh, damn. I know there's going to be a couple of things, right? I think we all yeah. got a couple of things, but what's one of the things right now? What's the thing that's. I'll read, I'll read it like how you said earlier in oh. the other podcast. Did I've you know writing, this question was coming? No, I've been writing shit down. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I was nah, like, there's, I can see paragraphs nah, right there. I've been writing down like a whole essay. Feel. Yeah, I sent it to Bevit uh, yesterday, but I've been writing how I feel. This is how I feel that's been in my in my heart. You were there when I you were there when they needed you every single time. And the one time you needed them, just someone to help save you. No one was there. Elaborate on that, please. Man, when it goes into like loving someone so much, yet yeah, they can turn around and not even look at you anymore. When you give every everything to somebody and they turn around and just like you never existed, you know, you, that hurts because now instead of like, I could show you love. And the reason why I, we don't show love is because we're so scared to get hurt at the end of the day. And it's like, man, do I really want to open myself up again to love yeah. you? Right. And that goes to everything, relationships, people that have passed away, 
or I love I love this person, but why did God take him away? Mm-hmm. You know, yesterday I showed my mom something, you know, rest in peace, my brother Ernie, where you promised me you will always be there for me. Mm-hmm. You lied. Where are you? You know, but you know, that's mm-hmm. that's a that's a that's a battle there where it's like loving. You know, I'ma love you, but man, at the end of the day, I'm so scared to to get hurt at the end of the day, but mm-hmm. because I have a big heart and who I am. We said it before, man. Be be that person that loves everybody. Be that person that shows love because that's genuine who you are. Just change the people you're showing it to because they'll know how to treat it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm gone. I'm gone. Becca just passed it off. She's like, next? Yeah. She said. Nah, so I, I can go. Going down, right? yeah, um, go. Well, actually, I just thought about this last night because I seen a post and then like I basically thought about it the rest of the night. I seen a post saying of somebody saying that like our generation is fucked up, right? Like we don't love, we don't love, love. We don't like give anything our all. We just kind of like half ass everything Mm. because we're scared. And it's true. Yeah. We probably, I'm sure a lot of us on the table are scared to love and it could be anybody, anything like a passion. It could be anything. Right. Um, but I feel like I'm, like, such, like, a loving person that when I love somebody, like, I love them so hard. And I'm always going to, like, I forgive people even if they're not sorry. Like, I'm always going to be like, no, but I love that person. I forgive them because I know that they're not in their best place. Mm-hmm. I'm always going to be that way. So, I don't know. That's That's been one thing that's been, like, heavy on my mind. It's, like, I know that it's, like, our generation is, like, this way. But it's, like, but I'm not like that. So, I don't know if, like am I like an auto and out because I still want to love somebody? Like I still want to have like that amazing relationship, you know, like the, the honeymoon phase that lasts forever. Like I still believe in all of that. And I know that there's like a lot of people around my age that probably don't. What's your age? <laughs> We're not going to say that. Um, no, Sorry. but yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> we can't say ages. Yeah. Oh, I thought I, I thought about the, everything else. Everything else too, though. <laughs> everything else. Yeah. So that's the one thing that's been heavy on my mind is like how I love and how other people like think about love and just obviously what they put themselves, what they put like into yeah. into things in their life. You know. Yeah. Um. I'll agree with Ashley. Uh, I'm, I'm a big person on like giving affection and, and love and and. Uh, Give my all to things, right? Um, I feel like I can relate to you just because, I mean, man, I've known you for so many years and uh, we've expressed so many thoughts and um, with coaching and just we've gone through hardships. Yeah. And I feel like going through hardships, going through letdowns, going through just a lot of stuff for you to give your all and then not receive it back or have it fail or whatever the case is, Facts. like I'm okay with it. Like I'm okay mm-hmm. with giving my all and not getting it back or mm. having it fail or mm. not getting that same passion to something, yeah. receiving it back. I'm okay with myself for it to not work out mm-hmm. or work towards you, work towards me. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be okay with myself. And I know I'm going to bounce back or I know I'm good mentally. Shout yeah. out, shout out Gino, simply G meals from San Diego. He, he, we had a dinner one time and he was like, I don't expect anything from anybody mm-hmm. yeah. because then how can I get let down? Exactly. I'm right. like, wait, yeah. what? He was like, yeah, like, I if you expect me for you to show up when I need you or for you to do this or that, and then you don't, then of course I won't be let down. But when I don't expect it, eh, if you do it, yeah. cool. And if you don't. Mm-hmm. That's why any little gesture, any little compliment, and any little come through to uh, for you, yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm so grateful for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I'm thankful. Non-negotiables. There's non-negotiables for the people that you say you love. Yeah. You know, you tell someone I love you, it's with everything, the mm-hmm. good, the bad, the ugly, the worst. Stick it through. And there's different forms. And I ran into a video today in the morning where it said, the person that really loves you will tell you the truth, no matter how much it hurts. Those friends that encourage you to go here, go there, and don't pay attention to your mental health, don't pay attention to your situation, those are the people that just are using you for their own greater good, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. But the people that genuinely love you, that care about your tomorrow, your future, who who you are as a person and how you feel at the end of the day, those are the people that will tell you the hard truth. It may hurt. It may sting. But as as they say, the truth hurts. And you just got to, hey, you got to accept it. Mm-hmm. 
if you're ready for it. Yeah. Facts. Boom. That was good. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Back to Jose, though. Oh. Right. Back to Jose, yeah, respectfully. Yeah, I just wanted to ask him a question. Because yeah, yeah. he asked me a question. All right. Why are you okay with things not working out or people not reciprocating your feelings towards them? I feel like it's just how I grew up. I love my parents. I'm not blaming nothing on them. Mm-hmm. But it's just how I grew up. Like, uh, I don't know. It's very hard to explain. It's just I don't expect nothing Anything from mm-hmm. nobody. And um, j- it's just how I grew up, honestly. For, like, for me, I know you're not asking me, but <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you because I feel like maybe this is probably what he's going to want to say or, like, is trying to say. It's, like, um, as long as, like, for me, I'm going to love you, right? It doesn't even matter. Like, I'm going to give you a 1,000%. And that's what makes me happy. So even if I don't get it back, that's fine because my heart's fulfilled. Exactly. Like, I know I did my part. I did what I had mm-hmm. to do to... Yeah, you to love you, to make you feel the way I needed. Little, little I, alley, I felt like you needed to be loved. You yeah, don't, you don't go to sleep with that man. Maybe if I should have. Yeah, I yeah, would've. because you know what? All the should haves and all the would haves will literally kill you. Hell no. And I'm not one to lose sleep over right. stuff like that. So as long as I'm comfortable with all the love I've given you, that's good for me. If you didn't give it back, I don't know. Man, we said this earlier. It's not my problem. I know what I did. Yeah. No one needs to see it. No one needs to yeah. know about it. I know what I did. Yeah. I'm good. I ain't gonna hate myself at the end of the day because. I did what I needed yeah. and how yeah. I am. Yeah. If they feel a certain way, that's on them, not on me. You're entitled to it, though. Mm-hmm. You're entitled to your feelings. Shout out to yeah. everybody. You're entitled to your feelings. Wow. 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 Oh, man, these questions, man, they're coming. Hit us. Now, I mean, obviously you mentioned family, but do, do you think it also applies to uh, relationships with your significant other and then friendships? The what part? The Like the giving love and not receiving the giving it? giving and not receiving. Hmm. Yeah, on, on both ends because mm. you, when we say we work hard, right, it's for our loved ones. And when our loved ones don't understand that grind that you're in, for whatever the reason is, you know, there's a there comes a lot of sacrifice for the things that we do. And if you're building a business, you're in your purpose, it comes with a lot of sacrifice. Time, which is the m- most important one yeah. that, I mean, I let it pass through my head too. It's like, man, managing time. But, um, you know, sometimes you get hit with that question that everybody, you know, everybody gets hit with. Man, where were you? Why didn't you come through? Man, you missed out. Oh, man, you'd rather go over there than over here, huh? It's like, man, like, I understand. I know where you come from, but I'm building. I have to do this in order for me to live off of it whenever it pays off, right? Like we said it earlier, you need 10,000 hours for an overnight success. Ice Cube said it. You need a five-year business plan. Maybe you get paid back at that time. You never know. You don't know if. If this episode works, cool, we pop off. But what if we stop because it didn't, yeah. and then the following one was supposed to be it? Okay. How would we know if we would have mm-hmm. kept going? Years ago, my guy uh, Bruno told me, he was like, hey, what are you going to do for your episode 100? I got to get to episode 50. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that feels like. Shit, but now here we are, episode 127. Oh, shit, nice. And we're going, and we're going, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's like, you know, but then you look at the Joe Rogans that have Fucking a thousand episodes. How long they've been doing it? Or those people that live in Beverly Hills or in the high rises. How how much of business have they had? You know, like it's like, damn, you've had ten years in business. I've only had two. Damn, I gotta go. I gotta keep on grinding. Because you, I mean, you get a little bit of uh, satisfaction here and there, which is whether it's money, fame, um, being in a certain room with certain people. Mm-hmm. I hell yeah, that could be your I made it part, but. Man, we know when we made it, when we're able to feed our families. Like, hey, I was away for this long, but here you go. Did you feel like um, San Diego was like an I made it moment for you? Because um, I felt that way, and I'm not even like the yeah. head honcho of this thing, you know? <laughs> like, I literally, like, I remember just standing there, and I stepped back, and I was just like, dude, this is wild. Like, this is too much for my heart to handle. I could not. It was like a lot. Bigger than money. Yeah. We've always been bigger than money, so yeah. the... 
our deal that we made with with Poder it was no matter how much we make, we're giving it out. First right. one, I don't care. We're giving it out. Why? Because our mm-hmm. purpose is bigger. I'm gonna be remembered for what we did, Lou, not what we could have done. And it's we the impact. and and we, yeah, it's the impact. We did it. Like when I'm ten feet under, and someone. Whoever comes and visits the I grave. think it's only six, but you want me to dig four more? <laughs> just or? A, just a little He's bit pretty more. tall. He's to, pretty tall. To make tall. sure you don't come <laughs> back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want them to say, like, damn, that person helped me in this, this, this. Not mm. a, damn, he had a lot of dreams. No, no, no. We did it. Boom. Mm. They had a lot of gold. Damn, you with the RIP. No, no, no. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't want people to just be like, oh, rest in peace and then call it a day, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, you want yeah. it to be like, oh, damn, I was like, damn. like to feel purposeful, you know? That'd be real Yeah. Do you think your life is purposeful now? It's been. It has been. It has been. It, I've lived, I live my life to help people. And how I've always said it, whether we help out a million people or one person, your life changes when you read that message of, I was about to kill myself today. I was about to end my life. And I fell into your guys' videos and it helped me. It's bigger than this podcast. Yeah. You know, you don't do that just because you come and fuck around. You do it because you're you're really showing the ins, the outs, the highs and the lows, and it's relatable to whoever is listening to. You know, we I mean we always mess around like oh we're famous, famous. We're not famous, bro. We're just people that are living our purpose, exactly. and we become in fact impactful in our own areas. Jose with this training, you when you go to your medical field, us doing this, like just meeting people and who we are genuinely helps other people by the way we interact with them. Whether it's at a store, a restaurant, at the gym, whether it's just, hey, how you doing? It's like, damn, why did they ask me that? You know, instead of like, hmm, what's up? Yeah. You know? All right, we back, we back. But make sure y'all subscribe, man. Without you guys, we would not be where we at. We would not have all these numbers that we have. We're very grateful, very appreciative. So hope this is helping you guys the way it's healing us. This is our therapy, my therapy, and I hope it is for you guys too. Hit us, Pepe. Earlier you said uh, you felt like your life was purposeful, right? Mm-hmm. Is there something currently in your life that you feel as though you're lacking? Damn. If so, what is it? Damn. Um, with my kids, just because, I mean, learning, man, learning how to be a dad, learning, you know, the balance of creating a business and a platform and being there for your oldest son. I mean, at the same time, like when I started this, I mean, he was a baby, but now this far in that we're at, I mean, he's about to go and play his first soccer game, learning balance. So that means what I do to what I do today, it can't set me up for failure for him to show up for him tomorrow. Just showing up. I got to show up. The days that I didn't feel good or feel worthy because I was this question as a, as a parent, which, you know, everybody goes through it in their own way, shape, or form. But, you know, just knowing, like, I'm a good dad. I'm, an, I'm a great dad. I'm going to make some mistakes here and there. And I promise you I love you forever and I'll be there forever. And even the day I'm gone, like, I'll make sure that you're taken care of because just know your dad loved you enough to follow his dreams so you can have something to eat. When I'm gone. And we'll be able to have that conversation when he's older, just the way I have it with my dad. But one thing I I feel like I'm learning how to be better at is just the time management, being there. You know, uh, my high school coach now going on 10 years, and this is a wrap. This is the, the farewell, like goodbye, like it's it. Why? Because everything is going great here, and my kids deserve more time with me. And, you know, you, you can't have everything in the world and you got to let go of certain things. And I just know my purpose is bigger than, you know, the high school that I'm very grateful for. But, you know, my, my kids, the priority and the reason why we're doing it. So, you know, they deserve me more and I'm going to be there more. You're, you're loving him the best way you can. <laughs> loving him the best way I can. And even the days where I don't love myself enough, like I make sure I show them the, that love, especially when, you know, those little ones look at me or even run to me of dad, dad, like, mm-hmm. if you knew, bro, if you knew that 
maybe today was going to be my last day because dad didn't feel the best, you know? But we go back to like, but I love you too much and I won't quit and I'm here. So time management, bro. It, you know that uh, guilt? That's that guilt yeah. that like happens. And I think it's probably like time management. It's like the one thing that gets to everybody because you don't get that back. Mm. Like you can always, yeah, you just could never get your time back and your babies are only going to be this age today. Yeah. Because tomorrow they're going to be this age plus a day, you know? I've been hearing that too much, man. Like the Time's a killer. Yeah, Jeez. I've been hearing that too much where it's like, you don't get these times back and, you know, spend it with the people you love. And I can confidently say I'm spending my days, my time with the people I genuinely love that, hey, you say whatever needs to happen and I'm there. You know what I mean? And I, I, I want to encourage everybody to feel that same way. Whoever you say you love, whoever's your circle, whoever's your, your rock, man, make that time for them. You know, some of your best friends, you don't see them all the time. Some That's of your true. closest people, you won't see them all the time. Mm -hmm. But they understand that you have a grind and a purpose, and they understand that, hey, you may not be here 24-7 all the time we get together, but I'm so proud of you. I'm proud that yeah. you're doing what you're meant to be doing. That's a true friend right there. Mm -hmm. Wherever yes. you left off in life, you come back within, like, a couple couple years. Like yeah. yeah. For example, with John. I haven't seen him for, like, like three years. Shout out John, baby. Shout out John. Shout out John. Same, same way where we left it. Yeah. You know? I mean, we shout out, shout out our... Our management team is Sour Apple. Chris, shout them out. Hopefully you get better, bro. <laughs> shout out to you. Um, but, you know, just being at the concert that I didn't know it was on my bucket list. I didn't know it was on my bucket with list. With Baby Bash and, right. and Little Rob it was and MC so Magic. And, you know, I was able to bring, uh, invite my, my boy John and his girlfriend Ashley. And me and John, I mean, we lost, and the rest of his family and friends, like we lost our best friend Chito. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that was, that's our guy. And then we we're just standing there. We had a moment. I was like, damn, like, imagine Chito would have been here, dog. Like, what he would have said. Oh, yeah. I was like, and I told him straight out, I was like, bro, I'm sorry I'm not there all the time. And and I'm I'm sorry I'm not missing out on a lot of things. But, bro, you know what he told me? He was like, nah, dog, I understand. I was like, those days that you were in the apartment recording, you told me this will pay off one day and mm -hmm. look at where we're at. Yeah. I was like, damn. I was like, I'm not crying. I'm sweating. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, a real friend would understand that you're on your grind mode. You're on hustle mode. And you don't get this time back. You're only this age once. You know? In six months from now, I want to be I want to be better. I want to be in a whole other position. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck here. You know, I'm about to hit 28. Fuck. Hey. Damn, Whoa. senior citizen. I thought Whoa. we were insane ages. Oh, well, I'm, I'm confident. Gonna, I'm, gonna I'm, my age. Chilling. No, I'm, I'm chilling. chilling. I'm shy. Look, Scorpio oh. season, October 25th. That's me. I'm about to be 28. Like that's such a Scorpio thing to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done off the mic. <laughs> Unplug me, please. We'll continue. It's okay. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Hell yeah. What about you, Ash? I don't remember what the question is. Is there something you are currently lacking? Or you feel like you're lacking? Sleep. <laughs> Bro. Um, okay, okay. Oh, okay, like definitely, it. like, um, self-motivation. Like, because even though, like, I'm, I've recently started, like, putting myself first and doing all these things, like, more for myself, like, I still have not, um, you know, been motiv motivated enough to, like, go to the gym. I recently started going on walks and runs. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, like, I think before I used to, like, gym it more. I used to be, like, more healthy. I would take care of myself a lot more. Um, so I think that's the one thing that I do, like, for sure, is, like, self-motivation to, like, better, like, my health and myself. So I feel like the same way with Dusko, uh, time management. I um, I mean, I'm here right now, and I'm supposed to be at a uh, – uh, I'm supposed to be at another place helping out, but I'm here. Because this is, I feel like this is more purposeful. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm time away from my parents. Um, they're getting old. Uh, they're uh, they barely can go to work, but they still every single day, four in the morning, getting up to go to work. And I feel like I have that burden. Like, oh, I should be doing more. But that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm out the house for like more than half of the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe all, like tw all twenty day. hours, all day, basically. All day. I'm I just go to sleep. I just go to sleep and eat. Same. But, um, yeah, time management. I wish I could spend a little bit more time with them. And, uh, yeah. Thank what you. about you? Same. Time management. Honestly, um, I feel like 
work right now. I'm working 10, 12 mm-hmm. hours a day. Then I'm studying for like four or five hours a day. And then that leaves what? Like 10 hours. Give or take, right? <laughs> then you don't take uh, the commute into effect and then sleeping. And yeah, then the drive. The drives. It's literally like you honestly have little to no time for yeah. yourself. Yeah. So time for yourself. Time. Just time in general. What, yeah. What was that? Five, five, five? <laughs> the, five, five, five? Five. the five five five. I mean, it, it's just learning. To be honest, like again, we're learning how to be better versions of ourselves. That you know, all the time of you're this, you're that, or you got to do this in order to be great and whatever. It's like yo, like understand that wherever you are in life, like you're good, bro. Yeah. You're learning. It's a process. It's a journey. It's a yeah. marathon. I mean, the. Everything that takes time be, is worth it. And everything that comes fast is easy to lose and you have no attachment to it. You know what I mean? Like, bro, we got at the end of the day, as hard as it sounds, like you have to really be proud of yourself and the progression you made. Where you're at now is, is a long way from where you're at a year ago. You know, whether yeah. it's financially, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, one step ahead is better yeah. than 10 steps back. Mm-hmm. And you have to be thankful the time that you do take the steps back because... Yeah. You get to see life in a whole different perspective and a whole different lens where it's like, damn, I had that? It's all okay. those small wins. You got to stack the chips. But also sometimes it's like you are here today, right? And you're like, dang, yeah. I prayed for this shit. Like, this is what you I did. prayed for. This is what I wanted. You like, did. I asked God to put me in the right path to put me here. And like, you wake up today, this is where you're at. Like, Yeah, full, full circle, yeah. right? And being very transparent of, Oh, we've been these people. No, no, no. Like, we go through everything, right? Mm. Like, being here at Ganya Rum Bar that used to come and party so hard and, like, ah, right, this no hay mañana, güey. Tú échale vergazo, tú et lo que sea. Be the yes man to everything. And then we're here on a business transaction. And, and I mean, we, like you said, we prayed for this to yeah. ever to be recording at a bar because we're a Tulsa Life or at a restaurant. And look at this. A whole three years later, we're making dreams come true. And it's just like... Never would have thought I'd be the Kanye. <laughs> in the <laughs> daytime. Oh, in the daytime. daytime. <laughs> Filming, right? Filming, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> we're walking like, damn, this is what it looks like. The <laughs> <one here."> hey. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Well, I was shook because I had never been invited here. So <laughs> it was my first time. I don't know. Same. Jessica has something planned. Sorry, her microphone just went out. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have those friends that don't want to encourage that, encourage that lifestyle. And, I mean, you... Genesis, like, again, like, you guys did that for us. Yeah. Without even, like, really taking accountability mm-hmm. of it's like, damn, like, we really be doing this every week. And one thing, again, I'll say, like, we had to stop feeding that monster, that monster of insecurity, that monster of anxiety, that monster of depression. We kept feeding it. And then we're like, what do I got? No tengo nada. You're I left got with nothing. nothing. Left yeah. with nothing. Back against the wall. What are you going to do? Everything got taken away from you. You broke. You're broke in. No one's around. Who do you got? Well, it's time to do the work, right? When your back's against the wall, there's only one way to go. That's forward. Mm-hmm. Tunnel vision, right? Tunnel vision, bro. Mm-hmm. Be selfish. I don't give a fuck how hard it sounds. You have I to know. put yourself first sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying 100% of the time like it ain't going to happen because we're loving giving people. But fuck, aren't you tired of life happening and you're not doing anything with it? Like, I have I was tired of that shit for the longest time. Man, if they have that, why the fuck can I have that? And it sounds brutal, but sometimes you can't, hey, you got to do better. They'd be like, no, my I think we just all have to be like main characters. You have to. No, Like everyone mm. has to just be a main character and that's it. Know your and it value. doesn't matter like whose story you're playing in to just be a main character. Know your be fucking your main value. Character, be your main character. You, and that's it. Just you, run with it. You got to know your value and where you're valued. It's like, if they have it, why can't you have it as yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah, they and drive I, in a Benz. Why can't I drive a Benz? I was in construction. I was I was helping build the mansions. Why can't I get a mansion? Yeah, mm. for sure. You know, you know, people looking to get sponsored. Why can't we be the sponsor? Exactly. Like, come on, why can't we do that? Mm. But again, it takes a lot of time, and it and it takes a lot of work. A work. That's what people don't want. They don't mm. want to work. Everybody just wants it easy. I think that's like the thing with social media these days. Yeah. Like, it's so easy. It's it just everything looks so easy right people just post like the good things in life and it's like oh how come they get vacation four times a year but no they're not also posting like how much they've been working how much they've been grinding the hours the night shifts the day shifts the missing out on family this family that like 
they only post a vacation. So it's, Facts. yeah. I think that's the one thing with social media. It's like, it makes it seem yeah. like everything's so easy and so like easy to get to. And it's like, nobody understands the work that gets put into like it. Like all. all those videos you run into, like the messages, like, bro, really embrace it and listen to it and dissect it. What do you mean I'm going to lose first? What do you mean I'm not going to get, not going to get the grace right away? What do you mean I'm not going to get the luxuries right away? Mm-hmm. You know, you have to understand that your time is coming. It may not be right now, it's tomorrow in a week or in a month in the year, but it's coming. Yeah, just keep working. You got to get there. Yeah. Right. You got to work without come. looking at the clock. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that per. Hey. That part. That part. <laughs> so currently, uh, do you feel accomplished? Yeah. Okay. For for the first time in a long ass time, I do, because it, it's different when you're winning with your with your people, bro. The people that had seen you from the beginning to now, like the people that you've gone through every little struggle, and now you get to like have a moment of of grace. Mm-hmm. And it happened in San Diego. We usually go to San Diego just to work. This time we went we went to work, but to go and change lives. And we brightened up the person that her first day of work. I know, that was so crazy. And we were like, hey, we going to do this. And we're like, yo, it's cool. Like, this is what we're here for. Mm-hmm. And then we go party. <laughs> you know, you got to have a reason to celebrate. That's can't, right. Can't go and celebrate every you fucking weekend. the life. I think that's a pretty good reason, <laughs> yeah. right? We can't go out and celebrate Mine? every weekend. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All our lives changed. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> we got a taste of that good life. Stop. Shout out. Hey, Marisol Cuatro Vientos. You already know who you are, dog. That wasn't a good night for me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, for the longest time, yeah, you got to be proud. But give yourself a reason to celebrate. There's no reason to party every weekend when you haven't done shit. Yeah. You know, 10 toes down, baby. 10 it's toes like, down. What are you celebrating? Stay humble because there's more to come. Mm-hmm. Take the small wins, stack mm-hmm. them up. And then you come you come out and you're like, damn, I'm him. We them. Why are you laughing? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's such a Scorpio thing to say. You should have kept it going. <laughs> we us. Uh, no, he's is. him. <laughs> we her. Hey, I'm him. We us. Legendary. Us, we. Hey. Legendary. <laughs> legendary. <laughs> we legendary. Yes, sir. I'm done here. <laughs> I can't. What about you, Becca? Do you feel right. accomplished? Um. Yeah. If I like sit here today and think about myself last year, dude, I felt like undefeated like I was just never gonna make it to where I'm at now and like um like career wise and everything um yeah I feel like I've accomplished everything that I set up for myself for today now that's not what I have set up for the next year or the next five or the next 10 that's like a whole nother game plan but um yeah I feel pretty accomplished I feel like I've done I've served my purpose for this year I did my good deeds I still have what three months left to do whatever I have left to do, which there's still a few things on my list that I need to do. And I know I'm going to accomplish them. So I feel, I feel good about myself. Do you want to share any of them? Uh, I mean, you don't have to, right? If you don't want to, um, but I feel like. You yeah. Should. So like starts crying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Um, well, obviously being done with school, I just have to take my test. Um, I like, I knew it was going to happen because obviously like you put that like on your vision board or whatever, but I could have got dropped any time from school and I didn't like I made it through the whole way um yeah and then um I've helped out my family like a few with just like things that they went through a lot of things like a lot of situations that I just um I didn't have to but I put myself in to help because I know that I could and I know that I have the knowledge and I know that I have the communication and just everything to like help some of my family members out. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I've done I've done my good deeds for the year. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Jose? Um, I would say, like, small wins aspect, yes. Yeah. But I like to keep telling myself, like, no, not yet. Because the bigger scheme of it, the bigger plan of it, mm. is far away from being done. Nice. But, I mean, I would kind of look back sometimes and, like, yo, like, you built something but we're not done yet. Mm-hmm. All right, people. Y'all, y'all have a quote? Y'all have a quote to end this amazing Yeah, if podcast. I say quote, cool, nobody better make fun of me. <laughs> Just kidding. Be a bad bee. <laughs> what was that word? Stop it, you guys. 
The internet is mean. You have a call, cool, Jose? Uh, believe in yourself because no one else will. That's a motherfucking bar right there. Go ahead, Becca. <laughs> I'm going to end it. I'm shy. <laughs> oh. oh, period. Okay. Period. I'm going to read mine, okay? And it was posted by um, somebody that I used to work with like a few years ago. She's a nurse practitioner, so I like look up to her a lot. Um, it was, it's taken me a little longer because I'm doing it all by myself, but it's coming. Damn hard. Dude, I don't make this up. I swear to God. <laughs> My mom texted me at Your mom be texting you the wildest things. At 227, she sent me their frames, right? Yeah. Like at, when she goes to the store, I think she's at Target right now. Shout out my mom. But she sent me a picture and it says... <laughs> shout out Target. Shout out Target, shout too. Out Target. Hey, come with that. You already know. But my mom, she sent me this and she does it knowing like it's going to hit me good. Mm-hmm. Always pray to have eyes that see the best in people. A heart that forgives the worst and a mind that forgets the bad. And a soul that never loses faith in God. She sent me that one, and then she said, send me another one. says, someday, everything will make perfect sense. For now, laugh at the confusion, smile, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. Love you, Mom. Hey, God. this is at Target? What this is at Target, bro. <laughs> what Target is this, Mom? Going right a couple there. of those frames. <laughs> I'm going right, right now. Target Target run. Run. <laughs> Target run. Target run right Target now. Run. All right, brother. Say, take us home. Mine was a combination of two that I actually saw online. Um, it's, I'm just going to put them together. Sometimes you need to forget how you feel and remember what you deserve. Don't allow someone to treat you poorly just because you love them. Damn. Man, <laughs> shout out, Pepe, for hosting this podcast. I this wish episode. you guys can see the list of yeah. questions that he has. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's like his format. notes <laughs> just like swipe <laughs> that way. He did his homework, bro. And, and I'm so proud of all of you guys. You guys here on camera. You guys over there behind the camera. You. you know, shout out John that, you know, <laughs> met you fucking at this shout time. Out coming out like two weeks ago. You I know, just sh- met him an hour ago. <laughs> He's pretty cool. <laughs> shit, hey, shit happens at the most unexpected times. And, you know, was able to meet John at the gym. To my knowledge, knows Jose, knows Genesis, and shit. Fuente Unified. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gone. Stop. <laughs> but, hey, I'm proud of every single one of you guys. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of everybody watching right now. Mm-hmm. I thank you guys for subscribing, for getting us to on our road to 20K subscribers, 150K on Instagram, and, man, helping every single one of you guys. Trust me. Let me tell you. That it helps us individually as people yeah. knowing that we're doing the right thing. We love you guys, but man, most authentic. Most organic. Hey, most, most organic. organic hey, Tulsa Life Podcast. You know how we do. We never miss a Monday. We don't miss. Let's go. Yeah.